All right. <clears throat> good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. So our first trailer. P31338. Seventeen pallets and total of ten thousand one hundred and sixty pounds. <clears throat> P three one three three eight. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Your fa your favorite FedEx driver is here. Seventeen pallets for you guys today. Okay. <laughs> Alright, no problem. Already did a quick pre-trip on my tra uh, my tractor. Uh, this is called a volume load. We're gonna go ahead and load it up, take it to our one delivery <clears throat> location, which is literally like five minutes down the road. Not even. Five AM. And the yard's starting to come alive.
Hi, good morning. Your, fa your favorite FedEx driver is here. 17 pallets for you guys today. Okay. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> I love making them laugh. <laughs> All right, and they're gonna give me a door. Door nine. door nine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You, have a good day. you too. So we got a sign, door number nine. We are going to pull up in front of the uh, door. They'll open it from the inside. Up. Oh. They are on a roll today. See, when you're their favorite driver, the work is easier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if I'm their favorite, but I tell them that every time I come here. Let's go open up the doors. And drop our paperwork in there. Well, we're on our second trailer now. You guys are gonna be in for a treat today. We've got a few, uh, interesting stops one of which is a uh a quarry that we are going to be delivering to we have a total of 15 pallets and 13,300 pounds inside the trailer and a lot of traffic I'm actually very happy with the uh, the positive comments that I've been getting uh, from you guys. I want to say thank you so far. Uh, I know I'm still small, but I mean, got to start somewhere, you know. Um, I know when I was trying to get the job here at FedEx Freight, I was looking online for any information about you know other people's experiences and how they like the job granted i had two people that worked here that uh were able to kind of tell me the gist of it but you know two people isn't in my opinion enough to go on you know and I, I, I did respect these two people and they had nothing but amazing things to say about the company, which, you know, in my, since I've been here, this experience so far has been amazing. I have no complaints, no complaints whatsoever. I think I made a good choice 
I looked at different types of companies and different types of uh, truck driving positions from reefer to flatbed to other LTL carriers and uh, it was the testimony of these two people that got me to actually accept the position here at FedEx Freight. And the stop that we're coming up to, uh, our first stop of the, the route, um, I delivered here yesterday. We I delivered two pallets yesterday. Today I'm delivering one pallet of uh, uh, a I guess a cabinet for tool sets. Um, so we're gonna be pulling up to it right now. This is gonna be in front of the store because I have a 48 foot trailer and I, I've i never been in the back, but I know they have their own trucks, so I don't go back there. So yeah, they usually have their own tractor trailers back there, so I, I tend to just stay in the front and, and deliver my freight here, or their freight here. The forklift will come around. All right. This is proven to be difficult already. This door is pretty tough. All right, All right so they're getting some uh, tool cabinets here. So, someone asked in the comments, during the winter months, are we, is freight slow? And to answer that question, yes. This route, this route is a very heavy route. Usually I, I have freight all the way to the door. In the summertime, I'm, I'm never this light with freight. All right, so we wheel it the freight to the door. We drop it. And then the forklift comes and gets it. Oh, there it is. Good morning. I'm good, how are you? All right. Just the one today. So 
this place. Very interesting. We delivered to some very interesting spots. Anywhere that gets freight, we deliver to them. What's the saying that they say? If it fits, it ships. Gotta go around to the maintenance yard. This place gets muddy very quickly. I remember one time I came here to deliver and this back section was flooded. Oh, it's parts of it still looks like there's a lot of ice and uh, water. They gotta get either the forklift or the boom out. I don't know which one he's gonna use today, so I'm gonna stay here and hopefully he can get that one out. All right, I'm gonna let dispatch know that we arrived. Oh. So, we just grab one side. light enough to do it. Hey, what's up? Just one pallet today, boss. Uh, shaves or sheaves? Okay. From independent distribu uh, distributors corp.
Yeah, so he grabbed the forklift today. I think I was here yesterday too. Yeah. assuming it's gonna be this door. The last time I was here, it was that door. So we are going to back into that door. This is a uh, forty five into here.
gonna go deliver this freight and I'll see you guys when I'm done. So we're going to our next pickup. Speed limit is 35 miles an hour here. There's a cop behind me, so let's behave ourselves. I mean, we always behave ourselves, but don't give them a reason.
we are here. We're gonna hit door 13. Well, it turns out that number 10 and number 14 share the same building. And I need to be at number 10, which happens to be right next door. So, So we did our pickup. We didn't pick up five pallets. It was only one pallet, but they wrote five boxes, which in actuality is a little bit more than that. Um, but according to the shipper, this is how the receiver wants it to be done for their itemizing purposes. But this is the commodity. All it is is just piping. So that's what we put. We're gonna leave it as the receiver's information. They created the bill. So we're just gonna write it up and uh, one last pickup to do and then we'll head home. But I'd like to thank you guys for riding with us today or with me. As always, if you like what you saw, comment, subscribe. Share the video. A lot of people are very interested to know what it is we do as truck drivers on a day-to-day -day basis. This is just one type of trucking that you can do 
one type of trucking that you can do. Um, I think it's fun. It's very interesting to see how freight moves around. But anyway, comment, like, subscribe, share the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, till next time, stay safe.